All right, what I'd like to do now is show you guys how to find the roots of an equation um, given x squared minus 8x equals 9. First of all, this is not in um, ax plus by, or sorry, ax squared plus um, bx plus c equals 0. So what we need to do is first I need to set this equal to 0. Because remember, when solving for your roots, the roots are the same thing as your x-intercepts. So therefore, you need to have that set equal to 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to subtract the 9 on both sides. And therefore, I obtain now is my x squared minus 8x uh, minus 9 equals 0. Now it's in a familiar form. Now I can determine what my a, b, and c are. My a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 8, and c is equal to negative 9. So then, now I can simply go ahead, do my a times c. a times c becomes a negative 9, and my b is a negative 8. So I say, what two numbers multiply to give me negative 9, but add to give me negative 8? Well, it's either 3 times 3 or 9 times 1. So yes? Negative 1 and positive 8, 9. Say that again. Negative 1 and positive 9. Be careful. This is going to be, you want to have a negative 8, though. That would be negative 8. Never mind. But when you add them together, you're going to want to get a negative 8. So you had it correct, but you're just going to want to make sure that's a negative 9 and a positive 1. So you just got to make sure you um, flip those around. Therefore, now you have a negative 9, positive 1. So I just put them in my factor. So I have x minus 9 times x plus 1 equals 0. You cannot forget to have those equal 0. It's a very big mistake that a lot of students will go ahead and make, is they will not continue that equal 0. Now, using the zero product property, I know that this binomial equals 0 and this binomial equals 0. So therefore, I say x minus 9 equals 0 and x plus 1 equals 0. Then, you just solve for your variable. And that is, by, that is how you find the roots of the, of the equation.